Hello, hello, hello. Boom, chakalaka. Still busy getting my stuff together. We are fishing Bloom of Dam, Sandfeld, and the reason why I'm here, I had some deliveries to do at the Bloom of Spa, and I thought, mm, let's kill two birds with one stone. I told David, get your cameras. We are sleeping over. We slept over at Wynos Guest House in Blumhof and got up early this morning, came to Sandfeld, found a nice spot just to the left of the boat launch. Just behind that reed bush is the right hand boat launch of, of Sandfeld and this is one of my favorite spots. I've been in the water with this rod for maybe 15 minutes and on my right hand rod I threw a couple of quick balls um, with a feeding weight. Five balls onto a spot um, around about 110 meters. And today I'm going to fish some of the new stuff. I didn't make dough. Um, and it feels like I left my underpants at home if I don't fish with dough. But today we're going to concentrate on some of the new stuff. We're going to fish floaties, we're going to fish arrows. And we're going to see if we can catch a couple of big carp. Feels like a nice fish on the line. Let's go fishing. It feels like a nice fish. Bloom of Dam is 100% full. Normally, we can drive around these reed bushes on the bottom tier of the sandbank. But today, we're actually stopping under the trees and fishing off the high bank. And I must say, the water color is not what I expect of Blumhoff, it's more Valdam color. Normally the visibility is very good, but um, it is what it is. And we're going to show you what to do when you find Blumhoff in these conditions. When we bait up, I'm going to show you exactly what was on here. This is really a nice fish for bank angling. Hello. <laughs> You're in the net, brother. Here's my first fish for the morning. What a beaut. Around about two and a half kgs. Bloom of pleasure. It's got a, a strange scale pattern here on the back. But a nice carp. It looks healthy. And it looks hungry. Hopefully his brothers and sisters are hungry too. I'm going to get this one back. See if I can catch a bigger one. Thank you brother. There we go. All right guys, um, that first fish came out on my right hand rod. So on the right hand rod, I am fishing, oops, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, I am fishing a Raptor bullet. I'm just skin hooking the bullet, pushing it back into the bomb, just the, the barb of the hook. And then a Raptor oozing float. So Raptor is our, is our banana product. And then on the dip side, I've got the new pink Raptor. Now, something about Raptor. Raptor is simply the sweetest, tangiest banana on the market. This product, you get it in a pink, you get it in a white, and you get it in a, in a yellow, and you get it in a spray and a ball dip as well. It simply catches fish everywhere. So, hence the pink Raptor for the water color. The water color is a bit off. It's, it's more of all damage like color. And then that orange on the ball, is that new F250. Now a lot of people ask me what is F250? F250 is a bubble gumish, winter greenish, um, fruity typey um, dip. So it is something also that catches a lot of fish everywhere we go. It's new on the market but it's one of those things that's here to stay and we're gonna catch a lot of fish with it. I spoke to one of my pro anglers, Sandri, and this is her combination for Bloomhoff. Sandri, thank you. Your first fish is in the net. So um, we're going to fish with it and see if we can catch a couple of bigger fish. I'm fishing at around about 100 meters, 110 meters. What I did on the other rod is I took the feeding weight, put out a, a couple of balls. But on that rod, I'm fishing Murbay and Scallion. And if it doesn't work, I'll stick to the Murbay, but I'll, I'll add the, um, the Viscander to that. Let me get this one in. See if we can catch another one. I must say it's really nice to fish um, 
bloem of dam when it's full like this. Uh, the system is really healthy. I've got a bit of a backbite here. What do you do when you get a backbite? So the water where I'm fishing is very deep and they're most probably sw um, swimming up the bank. So what happens? The fish picks up the bait and it swims towards you. So what I do, I pick up my rod and I, I windy, windy, windy. And as soon as I feel the tension, I just get, give it a small bump like that. But be ready. Sometimes when that happens, um, the fish, when they feel the tension, they want to shoot off in the other direction. This one didn't do it now. So I normally first flip my, my reel onto, onto um, backwind. And so if it happens and that fish wants to shoot off in, in the other direction, then I'm ready for it. Feels like another nice fish. On this rod I'm fishing with scallion, which is a very strong onion dip also one of the new kids on the block in the signature series and with that i'm fishing Murbay. now Murbay is man oh man it is mulberry um, now in um, in afrikaans mulberry and Murbay is exactly the same thing so it's a very very big flavor overseas very big among the specimen anglers and i decided let me make a bank angling dip with it and what I did, I asked my, um, my flavor house to make it a bit stronger for me. And I must say the results that the Murbe is putting on the board is absolutely fabulous. It's, there's some nice fish coming out of it, on it. And it's one of those things that you can use for carp, for muddies. Um, some guys even catch the odd kerp on it. But mainly carp and muddies. And it's a heavy dip. It's got a heavy base. If you fish it on one spot the whole time, your tempo is just going to pick up. The, um, it flavors the water around it and it's just going to catch you a lot of fish. This fish is over the other line. Let's go down and eat it. <laughs> Check this. Before the net, the fish comes to the net, I've got a stockfish. <laughs> There we go. Ooh. Here's my second fish for the morning. I must say, this is on that Murbay and Scallion. And all I've got on the hooks there is on one hook I've got a BG um, arrow that I just cut in half. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I push it back into the bomb. Hello, hello. I'm not done yet. And then on the other hook, I've got our Devil's Track Oozing Float. Don't come to Bloom Off without that Devil's Track Oozing Float. My other rod's biting as well. There's my policeman. It's going to go now. Let's go catch it. Oh, it had it tight now. Doesn't want to go. Let's drop it. Boom, chakalaka. This is the third fish. Exactly the same bite and um, I must say the bites are, the fish are great, the bites are not. I don't like back bites when, when it's big fish like this but it's something that happens in Bloomhoff especially when you're fishing the deeper water and like I said in the beginning of um, the program just on the left of that reed bush is the boat launch and there is a deepish hole where we're fishing. So the first 300 meters on this bank to, to the right of the boat launch is quite deep water. Then you get a shallow patch and towards the bridge it's deep again. So um, just pay attention when they do the back bite. Don't let them swim all the way to, to the bank. You can pick up the rod and you can, you can still have a lot of fun. It's, it's a different art to catch them when, um, when they don't run it. You have to be awake the whole time. Um, I was busy with that fish now and as I went down the line was still in position and when I netted the fish I saw oh here yeah, my policeman is drowning. So it happens it's the silent the silent bite. On this rod again the um, F250 and that pink raptor I must say it's growing on me. Um, I've had a lot of fish in my in my life on um, raptor 
and Jinx, which is also a very strong wintergreen dip. So F250 Jinx combined with Raptor, those two will always give you fish no matter where you go. It's also something that I prefer to fish in winter when the going gets tough. This fish is coming in close. It's heading towards that reed point. Let me just get an angle on it and see if I can muscle it away there. Oh, another nice fish. <laughs> yes, there's a net here, boy. This is a nice one. There's another proper fish. I must say, Blumov is spoiling me. Around about 2.8 kilos going up the ladder. This one is a bit skinny, it looks like a male carp. And this picked up on that new BG Aero. I'm going to show you now how to hook it. No, no, this was on the bullet, sorry. This was on, this was on the Raptor bullet, which is basically a bottom bait. The BG Aero is, is on the other rod. But I'm going to show you how to bait them up both. I'm going to get this fish back get my rods back into the water because without rods in the water you can't catch anything <clears throat> that way that way that way ah not into the net again In my hand I've got a Raptor oozing float, our banana oozing float, so when I'm fishing bloom off I like to select the bigger ones out of the tub and I skin hook them like that so that most of the float sits on the outside of the hook. What I'm doing now is I'm using the round end of the hook the, and I'm just pushing that into the bomb like that. On the top hook I'm going to take a Raptor bullet, so this is a little bottom bait, it's not a floating bait and I'm just hooking it on the side here, just like you would hook into a millipip and you can just, if it becomes loose, just press on it it is a, it is a um, cooked dough, so you can press on it, you can mold it as well, use it behind the float so those are my two hook baits, the reason why I put it like this when the ball falls through the water, it won't fall like that. If it falls like that, the pressure from the water pushing up is going to turn it around like that. And both of your, your baits are going to end up on top. Alright, that's the reason why I'm doing that. Now, on the, on the bomb, my pink raptor. Just like that. And then a bit of F250. One thing about the F250, don't let it come the dip on, don't let the dip come on, onto the sticker, you're gonna lose your sticker. Um, it's very strong. And always shake it before you um, before you use it. Just like that, not too much. And voila, ready to go back out. This rod is around about 80-85 meters and it's also producing some nice fish. Let's get it in. In my hand I've got our Devil's Drag float. Um, we've changed the name from Devil's Drag just to Drag. So look for the drag oozing float, don't come to bloom off without it. I hook it exactly the same as the other one, so that most of the float sits on the outside of the hook. Use the rounding of, of the hook to push it into the bomb. And in my hand here, this is the BG Aero. So the BG Aeros are brand new on the market as well. For the guys that love to fish with Aeros, I think this is going to be one of the the top cell is very very soon. There goes the other rod again. <laughs> Yo, it's quick now. That's a bloom off run. Boom! Chugalaga! Right onto that um, 
Pink Raptor and F250 now. Oh, this is a nice fish. This was in the water for two minutes, two and a half minutes. All right, I think I'm going to play this fish out before we finish with that. I don't really like it when my um, when my bait hang out like that, but there's no dough on, so when you're fishing without those, you can actually just leave it. Um, all I'm going to do to finish that now is put the, the um, murbay onto the bomb with the scallion just a little bit and throw it out. But this feels like another nice one. When you net a fish in shallow water like this, if you want to make it easy for yourself, keep your, your rod tip down, keep the, the eyes of the fish under the water and just pull it over the net. Sometimes when they see the net, they do that. Man, this is a nice fish again. Another nice fish, this is a darker one. And this fish is still recovering from the spawning season. That's what happens in Bloomhoff when they spawn. It gets rough. And, uh, oh. and that's why we do it over the water. If they jump, they don't fall and, and injure their swimming bladders. They fall into the water and they can swim away. And tell all their friends, subscribe on that channel. They're letting you go. While we're on that, subscribe on our channel, tell your friends and family about our channel, hit the notification bell, so that every time when we drop something new on YouTube, you will be notified either via Facebook or via YouTube. Um, the more subscribers and viewers we get, the more we can do this. Um, and we just want to put the fun out there for everybody to enjoy. Let's go catch another one. We've just had a nice fish. Time to finish this bait presentation up for you. So the Murbay, I want to show you a trick that I do with the Murbay when I fish bottles without um, lotion pumps. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing the bomb onto the bottle like that. I turn it around and I just, I want it to run off in this direction now. So I just tilt the bomb like that when I um, bring the bomb to the bottom again. So everything's going to run that way now. And then with the scallion, then I can put the scallion either next to that or on the other side. So I'm just going to put it next to it like that. Paste it a bit. And voila, there we go. Oh, lovely color on the bomb there. Guys, we're fishing on a steep bank and instead of going down every time to put on a policeman, um, I've learned a trick with, with the boat anglers. Um, they can't go forward because they'll drown if they try to get to the rod tip fishing off a boat. So they improvised and it's something that I've shown a couple of years ago but there's a lot of people asking, please show us how you put a policeman on if you're fishing on a river bank or something like that. So this is very, I can go down and put a policeman on every time but it's not necessary. So what I do, I've thrown in my rod now, tightened up the line. So I'm opening up the bail arm and I'm letting the line off, bringing it back to me, and now I catch the line here. So now I'm going to um, put my policeman on, on, the on the line, just like that. And all you do now is let it slide, take your rod tip forward, and just reel slowly. And if it doesn't want to slide, just drop it in the, into the water, and just shake it like that, and it will go forward. And now, you don't have to run down every time. You can, when you're fishing off a boat, you can do exactly the same. It's very easy to do it like that. Um, when you're fishing on a river bank where it's deep right in front of you, um, you don't have to walk back to put the, the policeman on. Do it like this. It works for me. It's definitely going to work for you. Guys, there's a lot of people that are asking questions on our page. And one of the questions that I want to answer today is, I can't remember the person's name. Forgive me for that. Um, but they ask, what line are we fishing with? So I mainly fish um, double X. I also fish iron power. Um, and then when I fish double X, like today I'm fishing seven pounds. It's not necessary to fish the five pounds because we're only fishing at that 85 to 110 meters. Um, 
and then leader also double x 18 pound the 0.36 simply the best value money leader out there and i fish the yellow one and the reason why i'm fishing the yellow one is i like to see my leader when i'm playing out a fish especially in a tournament or something like that and the fish goes towards my peg mate or towards my other line i want to see what what the fish does and if i've got a bright yellow uh, yellow leader on there i can see it so much better um, it does not affect the fishing i've won multiple essays um, fishing yellow leaders in carp fishing um, won a world title fishing yellow leaders so no it does not put off the fish but it enhances your fishing um, so five pound seven pound 10 pound those are the main lines that that i'm fishing double x and then iron power as well the um, 0.18 which is i think a, a eight pound and then the 0.26 which is a which is um, almost a 12 pound line those are the lines that i'm fishing with so i hope it answers your question um, it is as simple as that you don't need to reinvent the wheel the line is out there get on it it works for me it will definitely work for you as well man this is a lot of fun <laughs> Ooh, nice fish nice fish when you want to catch bigger fish in bloom off one of the things that you can do i think this fish just came off no it's still there one of the things that you can do is fish bigger baits and take away the floats or put a backing behind the float that's going to take that float to the bottom it it always works um, to, to catch bigger fish so um, if, if you don't have a backing use the bullet as a backing you can put that behind the float the bullet is is very moldable um, what i like to do i just like to dab it into the water make it a bit softer um, because it's actually made to be used as a, as a hook bait as is and then if it's too soft it's going to hit off when you hit the water so just dab on it when you want to mold it behind behind the float or something and then mold it behind your your float as a backing that's going to put you into bigger fish just want to um, tell you guys something that i did on on arrival here F first of all on arrival here the bucky was so full of stuff for deliveries um, i had to travel very light so half of my kit's not here and the important half that is not here is my my buckets <laughs> i left my buckets at home for some other reason i took them uh, out of the container that they normally come in and um, filled that up with feed and extra dips and the stuff that i want to use today i never put them back so yeah it happens we're only human but on arrival i i mixed feed and um i decided today is a level five day the wind is is like a busy and i added some level five to the orange packet of feed um the two kg feed and man it just works <laughs> this rod again now was in the water for for maybe two and a half three minutes maybe a bit longer but definitely not not longer than five minutes and the nice thing about that level five in that feed it gives the feed that fresh smell the whole day and when the fish especially in Blumhoff and the Valdam when they get onto that flavor they just stay so for this coming um this coming season i'm going to fish a lot of level five i already fish a lot of it but it's something that i've got so much confidence in um, during my national championships i'm going to fish that flat out and it just gives me an edge so um, guys the, for the guys that's fishing against me in the national championships it doesn't work at all don't fish at least um, leave it to me I'll, I'll 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 tell you afterwards if it works <laughs> no, i'm only making a joke guys but um, it definitely works for the social guys out there if you want to have a proper day's fishing don't put too much into your feet um, i put about maybe three um, caps full of level five into into a whole two kg um, um, feed mix it's very strong so you don't need to put in too much but it just takes your feed no it doesn't matter what feed you fish it takes your feed to to the next level
I must say, I think this dirty water is making them so, so lazy. Um, it's like they're in another world. Once they're in the net, they get a bit feisty. All I can say is, wow. <laughs> another nice one. This one picked up on that BG arrow. That arrow is going to catch a lot of fish. When, um, when it came out, the color is right. The flavor is just right. And it's a, some, simply something that's going to catch a whole lot of fish everywhere in South Africa. And the combination on this rod is the Moorbay and the Scallion and that combo also. I can't wait to fish it in the Valdan. It's nice to catch them, but it's equally as nice to release them. Time to finish this up. I'll give you a quick rundown now after that nice fish. Even I'm shaking. That's the F250 that just went on there. So just to recap, on the bottom hook is the Raptor oozing float, the Raptor bullet on the top hook, pink Raptor and F250. Let's get it out. This rod is around about 85 meters. Let's get it out. Another fish on. This was maybe pushing four minutes. That day, F250 and Raptor is running a havoc now. I'm trying to catch a bigger fish, and I actually threw that a bit off the spot, a bit over the spot. <laughs> they just don't care, <laughs> they just chow it down. No, 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 this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. <sighs> windy, 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 windy. Boom, chugalaga. What's he, what's he? Ah, say now. <laughs> Too quick. Fast and furious. Look at this fish. Pushing four, four and a half kgs. Man oh man. I made a small change, yeah? I took the oozing float away and I put two bullets on, two raptor bullets an instantly bigger fish i'm going to do it again see if i can catch a big one again let me get this one back and see if we can extend the fun okay we're changing the hook baits just to two bullets now the bottom baits are definitely catching fish that's a bit bigger so that's going to go back into the bomb like that and in the top hook, exactly the same. I just like to press down on the bullet after I hooked it. They do become a bit soft, especially if they're out in the sun. Man oh man. Is another fish on. Not even time to put a milli bomb. The milli bomb is still half done on the other rod. And whew, 
those two spots are working now. I must say one thing about the Moor Bay is um, I mentioned it earlier as well it's got a heavy base so whatever goes down stays down and it's just gonna flavor that water column and as the fish feed on, on, on the feet down there they're just spreading it and spreading it and every time you put a fresh one in there you're just gonna enhance um, the, the, the spot you're fishing on and man it is one of those things that is even taking me by surprise. I've got a lot of um, favorites, but this one is growing heavily on me. And um, fishing it with the scallion, definitely working today in Blue Moff. Um, it's definitely something that I'm gonna put in my armory for, um, for the national championships coming up. But also fishing for um, the Val Dam. And everywhere where there's muddies and carp, um, this is definitely gonna work. I must say, these bullets on the... Oh, I tell you, don't do it. Just the two bullets. Mm, giving big fish, giving big fish. Look at this pretty fish. It's got a purple shine to it. And uh, definitely recovering from the spawn. Man, oh man. You like bullets, eh? All right, thank you, fella. Let me go catch your brother. We've come to the end of this program, and boom, chugalaga, two fish on the line. <laughs> oh, the bullets came and stole the show, especially with a bigger fish. Um, these last two rods were in the water for a bit longer, but I'm trying to catch bigger fish now. So I kept the dips exactly the same, just um, took away the float. Um, on the one rod, I stuck two garlic bullets on, on this rod and threw it a bit further and that one also a bit further and man, into two nice fish again. So I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to ask that cameraman to do it in, in editing. Um, we're going to post a list of combinations at the end of this program if you come to bloom off that's what you need to bring with fishing a tournament fishing socially um, like i said i've won many tournaments in bloom off um, won a world championships here with the sa carp team won a couple of essays here um, and what works at sandfeld normally works at the sloop normally works at bamboos normally works at Falat and kraal full strays by Everywhere you go, the same stuff works over and over and over again. It's just confidence. Um, if you have the confidence to throw it, you're going to catch a lot of fish. So I'm going to post that at the end of this program. Take a screenshot. Make sure when you come to Bloom Off, you fish them in those combinations. And if it doesn't work, just play with it. Um, make, make it a bit more, make it a bit less. Um, play with the hook bait, but you will catch fish with it. This is a nice fish on the line. I'm going to get down. It's heading towards my other line. Just make sure it doesn't catch the other line. Let's go get it. My one hook link has caught onto my other line now. Yo, nice fish. Let me get the fish first. Ooh. Yeah, here it can't. Here's the net, here's the net. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, 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 come. Boom, chakalaka. Ha, 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 laka, laka. Look at this beautiful fish. Man, oh man. Around about three and a half kgs. Absolute bloom of pleasure. Guys, we've come to the end of the show. Thanks for bearing with us. Thanks for watching. Remember to tell your friends and family about the secret show. Our channel, Let's Go Fishing. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button. So that every time we do something new, you'll be notified. Man, what a fish. Let's get it back. Go catch the other one. We'll play out with that one. Then it's time to head home. Go make some mooties. <laughs> <laughs>